Hello there, my beautiful, lovely internet friends. Welcome to my three year amputation, amp, amp, ampiversary, amputation versary, ampiversary celebration. So today, October 11th, is exactly three years since I walked into a hospital and uh, rolled out without a leg, which was a bizarre experience, which I fully documented on this channel. Now, if you've been here since the beginning, you know that that didn't exactly go smoothly. About a month and a half after I had my amputation, I had a bad fall in a restaurant that led to additional surgeries and an additional amputation. Now, now, that waiting period in my life was a pretty dark one, and I wanted to play a video uh, of me trying to be hopeful and look forward to the things that I hope one day I might be able to do. This is called What I'm Gonna Do After Amputation. Uh, the thumbnails are like post-amputation goals, and genuinely, I do not remember a single thing that I mentioned in this video, so I'm kind of curious what I was able to do, maybe what I'm working through still, and also to just take some time today to talk about the last three years after we go through this video. As we start today's celebration and I look back on the things that I wanted to do and did I do them, I'd like to give a big shout out to our sponsor, Skillshare. I have talked about them many times before. I have partnered with this company long term, but they are incredible. Skillshare is an online learning community where there are thousands of different courses to choose from on topics that range from photography to illustration to watercolor to business to productivity to self-help and improvement and more. Right now, I am taking a Procreate course for iPads specifically. Lately, I've wanted to explore kind of different art formats, and so I got Procreate and I've been playing around with it and taking this course to learn all the basics. Intro to Procreate Illustrating on the iPad is taught by Brooke Glaser and is a course I would highly recommend you check out if that's something you're interested in. However, there are so many topics that you can look through and choose and figure out what might be fun for you to learn. I'm a big believer in the idea that continuing to learn is a very beneficial thing for our lives, even if it's like 10 minutes a day to do something that's new to you and could be exciting. And maybe exploring things you didn't even know you were interested in before is a great way to develop who you are and what you know about yourself and your creativity. And to make this even better, Skillshare has offered the first 1,000 of my subscribers who click that link down below a one month free trial so you can start exploring your creativity today, which I would highly recommend that you do. So check out that link down below, let me know what you think, and let's dive into this. It is now T minus two days until I have my second below the knee amputation. While that is a lot to deal with, I thought that we would take today's video to focus on the reason why I did this in the first place. Hello there, it's Editing Joe here. Just wanted to pop in and say that the audio quality on that past video is not fantastic. There's nothing I can do right now to fix that. However, the clips are pretty brief, so you won't have to deal with that for too long. These are the things, big and small, that I cannot wait to do and share with you guys when I get there. Let's start with a simple one. Walk my dogs around the block. Okay, this one makes me a little misty-eyed already, but this is a goal that I blew out of the water. Um, I took my dogs for a walk earlier today, and it's that really freaking simple little thing of being able to be like, yeah, I think the puppies need to walk. Let's just go around the block. Let's go for a mile walk. And just being able to do that is not something I will ever take for granted again because I realize how delicate that can be. There were years where it was always a question mark of if I went for a walk, would I make it back to the house or would I have to call someone to come pick me up? That is one of the most exciting, simple, ridiculously little things that I, I cannot wait to do. Just take my dogs for a walk in the morning. Secondly, a little bit of a bigger goal. I want to go for a jog with my dad. When I was a kid, before any of this happened, before I fell off the horse and shattered my ankle that led to all of this, I would go jogging with my dad sometimes. So this actually came true this year. And uh, again, it makes me misty. I had to think about to be able to have had this experience Experience with my dad. This was all documented in the Running World video that they came out and did on me. I'll pop some of the footage out. Um, but I, I got to go running with my dad and I feel like those moments I will always savor to my core. So I know you're watching dad. Thank you. I love you. It was amazing to be able to run again with you. I want to run a 5k but I think what I actually want to do is run a marathon for no- Okay, so this is when I actually also did. I ran a 5K about a month and a half ago, two months ago. Um, also some footage on screen. When I crossed that finish line, I just started bawling in my dad's arms. Um, I hate crying in public, but that was a moment that was, that was worth the tears for everything it took to get there and all the support and all the people I had by my side along. And uh, after running a 5K, I'm not sure if I, have, if I have goals of a marathon anymore. I definitely have goals of more 5Ks and a 10K, but I'm still trying to figure out if a long distance runner is in the cards for me or if I don't care that much. I live in Colorado, and if you don't know about Colorado, we have a ton of 14ers, which are mountains that are over 40, Oh, right. They are intense to climb. This is a goal that is still on the list. I have not yet hiked a 
14er, which is a mountain that's over 14,000 feet. We have, I think, 54 of them. Haven't tackled this one just yet. I'm hoping maybe next summer as the season's kind of coming to a close, but that would be a lot of heavy duty work on my leg. And I do still have some sore spots. I'm still building up some endurance. So that's the first one I haven't done just yet. Hike on the weekends with Brian and the puppies, just locally. I've done that many times. Uh, Brian and I went for a three mile hike just this past weekend at Stratton Open Space, which is one of our favorite places to go. We go everywhere, honestly. Uh, but yeah, we went for uh, a walk. We brought little Sophie with us and it was just perfect and delightful and beautiful and amazing to be back in nature. And there's so much that I can do now. I feel like it's so important to take a moment to think about that and acknowledge that for myself, being able to look back and knowing that even though I'm smiling in this video, my mindset was in a really low place. I had hope, but I was like barely hanging on because it was so much. It was a lot to deal with. I was dealing with mental health issues on top of it and knowing that I was gonna be going under the knife and they were gonna be taking away more of my body the next day. That was the last thing I ever wanted to do again, knowing how painful it was the first time. But being able to look back now and be like, gosh darn it, Joe, I'm glad you hung on because it was really, really, really worth it even if you couldn't see it at the time. Swing dancing. So Ooh. I watched my videos that long ago. I used to go swing dancing every Sunday night in high school and I love it. I love dancing. So this is another one that is still on my list. I was talking with my friend Megan the other day about giving this a shot. I love dancing. I am, oh boy, not talented. It's just, it's not in my genes, guys. But um, I love dancing, especially swing dancing, ballroom dancing. It's so fun. I'm also watching Dancing with the Stars for the first time ever because Cody Rigsby from Peloton is on it and I love him. And watching everybody learn and do these dances, I'm like, oh, that's my heart. I love dancing. So yes, swing dancing is still on the agenda. Maybe I'll sign us up for a ballroom dancing class. Who knows? Zero skill, no skill, unbelievably white in the stereotypical white people can't dance when it comes to dancing. That is still accurate. And I want to be able to dance like an idiot at concerts. Like I'm going to a Louis Capaldi concert. I did this. Okay, so um, not that long ago, I went to a very small concert of one of my favorite bands called The Classic Crime. And when I say I danced like an idiot, I danced like an idiot. I was bouncing up and down like I was a 14 year old at my first concert, just low key rocking out all over the place as Brian is standing there horribly embarrassed of me and it was awesome. Do the incline again. So the incline is this ridiculously oh. difficult short hike in Colorado Springs. It used to be railroad tracks up to the top of Pikes Peak. It's like a crazy elevation gain in a very short period of time. This is something I still do want to do, but I'm doing it with caution because I think I could make it up right now. I think my fitness and my leg stability is in a place where I could climb those stairs. It's like this big thing in Colorado that people do. It's, it's really athletically challenging, but the problem is two and a half mile trail down where it's pretty steep downwards and going downhill with my prosthetic is is still really painful. I haven't tackled that one just yet. Still very much want to, but I'm not really willing to sacrifice my leg feeling okay for like a week um, at this point. I want to be able to wear high heels on a date with my husband, Brian. So this unfortunately is still gonna be quite a ways away. Um, I had in my mind, insurance will approve a new prosthetic every three years. So I thought every three years I can get a new one. False, they only approve it every three years if it breaks. Um, my prosthetic leg is thankfully doing great, but that means that I don't get to add another one to my collection and they are crazy expensive without insurance. So for the foreseeable future, we're still working with flats, guys. This doesn't require a working prosthetic leg, but just get back to jujitsu. I would love to get back to jujitsu. I did. This is something I have not posted about anywhere um, because I've wanted to like slowly get back into it and not worry about being on camera and like be present in the moment. But I'm definitely going to be doing a jujitsu video in the near future because oh my god, guys. It has been so freeing to get back to. Um, I was shocked by the way that I felt. I'll leave it at that and leave that for the upcoming jujitsu video. So my family has this tradition that while my mom is like making food on Thanksgiving at the house, uh, the boys or whoever's there will go out and play frisbee golf at this course near our house. And the last few years I haven't gone because my ankle is a wreck. I want to go do that with them. The opportunity to do this and frankly just decided against it because I rather wanted to sit and eat pastries and you know kind of help cook things uh, instead of instead of going out and playing frisbee golf. It doesn't rank higher than like good coffee and conversations with the people who aren't going. Run with the Bulls in Barcelona or is it Madrid? I'm not sure. I actually don't want to do either one of those things but it sounds cool. Oh okay I was like did I really want that at some point? Did I want to run with the Bulls? I don't want to run with the Bulls. Don't don't make please don't make me run with the Bulls. That is a thing that people do though. Go back to Ireland 
Ireland and walk around the streets of Dublin yes. with Brian and or friends. Dude. So March 2019, when I was still in this waiting period of being on crutches, waiting to figure out what was going on with my leg, waiting for more surgeries, we went to Ireland with friends and it was incredible, but it was difficult not being able to walk, being in a foreign country, going and doing a lot of things. And hands down, one of my favorite things in the entire world is going to new places and just walking. Uh, there's something about it that just feels like perfection to me. And so it is still a goal of ours. We're saving up to hopefully eventually get back to Ireland, um, just the two of us, and go back to Dublin and, and Kenmare and Donegal, be able to more fully experience these places and walk around the countryside and all of that. But it's a little expensive to go, so it's gonna be a little while. Last but not least, I'd like to be able to bike to a local coffee shop on like Sunday. So this is another one that I haven't done yet, but I am capable of doing. Uh, I was gifted a Peloton by the company, not sponsored, don't have to say anything about it. I just love it. I am so grateful um, for the ability to bike because it's something that doesn't make me feel restricted at all. It's very low impact. And so I don't feel like my leg really holds me back that much. So I've done a lot of biking, but it's always been indoor. We'd love to get bikes in the future. I have to figure out how I can work like clip on shoes to keep my prosthetic leg on. But I also can't unclip my prosthetic without reaching down and helping it turn. Meaning that if I had to like put my right foot down to stabilize myself, if I came to a stop or was experiencing a fall, I wouldn't be able to do that. So I'm still figuring out how I might be able to finagle a bike in the wild. Man, watching that video back, um, two years after I recorded it, three years after my amputation. Sometimes I struggle with the balance between being cheesy and inspirational and, and honestly sharing things that make my heart full. And this is one of those things where looking back, I remember what a difficult place I was in. I remember the question marks, the insecurity, the feelings of hopelessness and powerlessness and is this going to work out? Am I even going to be able to walk my dogs ever again? You know, what is my life? What am I doing? And to be able to look back now and be like, damn, I did that and so much more. I learned to snowboard. I went to ninja gyms. I've gone rock climbing. I ran the 5k. I run with my dad again. Sometimes it's hard to feel the weight of all of that because it's very emotional in the best kind of way. And holy cow, I would not have believed it if I had told myself that many years ago. I feel like I'm at this point in my life where life still happens, right? But at my core, I'm okay. And I've never had that experience before. And so looking back at moments like this and looking back at moments in my life when I was dealing with significant trauma and knew it would never get better and being able to look at that and say, Joe, you were so wrong and I'm so glad you were so wrong. It's something I never thought I'd be able to do. So it's so cool seeing this video and thinking about all the things I was able to do and I have said it before, but gosh darn, I am so grateful, so grateful. There have been so many things and people and situations that have helped me along the way here. And to have the opportunity to say I did these things is, wow, what a gift. So now that I have been an amputee for a whole three years, which is not that long, but also is long enough to start feeling like I have a new normal, it's been really interesting to me to kind of see the progression of making peace with this, of accepting it, embracing it, days I do, days I don't. I'm now at a place, I would even say very recently, where I feel like, being an amputee and dealing with my prosthetic leg has become really normal. I talk about it a lot online, I share information, education, but as far as my daily, everyday life, like interacting with friends, doing things, it definitely plays a part, it comes into play, but it's normal now. Like it's just a part of my life and it doesn't feel like this exhausting, huge, major inconvenience all of the time. There are moments when I'm traveling or when a part breaks where all those feelings come back up, but now it's kind of like, yeah, this is my life. All right. And that took years to get to. And I'm sure there are still parts of that that will take years to get to a better place on. It's not a straight path. When you go through a loss like this, there's a long grieving process that takes way longer than you would like it to and an adjustment period. I just feel like I'm in a really good place with all this and I don't know how to say anything more profound than that, but this is, this, this worked. It actually worked. So let me raise my coffee glass, coffee mug in celebration to um, my three year amputation anniversary. This is a happy day for me because it came with so many complications, was so much more difficult than I thought possible, but was worth it and was something I got to choose 
to make my life better and it made my life better and I am going to celebrate that and I am so grateful to all of the people who are happy along with me, to you maybe watching this video right now, maybe you've watched me for a day or a week or three freaking years. You've been a part of this journey. You've made this so much better for me. You've given me things and, and a platform and support I genuinely never could have imagined. So this day belongs to all of you, my beautiful subscribers and listeners as well. And with that, I'm gonna go ahead and celebrate by doing an incredibly mundane thing and taking my dogs for a walk because now I can actually do that. Huge thank you again to our sponsor, Skillshare. I really believe in this company. I actively use them. My iPad is sitting right over there where I've been learning Procreate like I talked about. They have so many different courses to choose from. So check out that link down below. It helps to support this channel, but also is something I think could be really cool for you. To my patrons who have stuck with me for such a long time, new and old, thank you for your generosity, your support, your care, your kindness, and your community over there. And to you watching this video right now, thank you for spending a few minutes out of your day here with me today. You could be anywhere else in the world doing anything else and you chose to hang out with me for a few minutes and I really appreciate that. I love you guys, I'm thinking about you and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.